Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my budget for September. So let's get into it. Full disclosure, so when I do my budgets, I do what's called a zero-based budget. So whatever money is in my account at the beginning of the month, I aim to have that at zero by the end. So I do want to use all the money that's in my bank account. Um, so use can mean spending it. It can also mean saving it or investing it or paying off debt. Um, but my my goal is that every dollar in my bank account has a purpose. So that's what I mean when I say a zero based budget. That being said, let's get into what I'm going to do for September. So first is housing. That is at 29%, which is a lot. <laughs> uh, my utilities have gone up. Um, it's hot where I live and I've been using that air so my utilities have gone up but that includes my rent my utilities as well as my phone bill but that is 29 percent and this is all take home pay next is living expenses so for me oh well that's at 20 percent and for me living is food so that includes groceries as well as eating out that's shopping it's anything related to my car like gas um, it's household items and I've also included like subscriptions with that too so that's 20% next is therapy I made a video about um, opening up about me going to therapy just trying to make that a more like normalizing that and then also talking about like how I pay for it and what are the costs involved with therapy so if you're interested in that go check out that video but that's 3% for me Next is beauty at 8%, which is kind of high, but for me, um, it, it's higher than normal because in September, I'll also be getting my hair done. So I get my hair done every other month and I have locks and I like retighten the roots and I used to do that myself, but it would take me like three full days to do it myself because as you can see, I have a lot of hair and it would just take me a really long time. So this summer after i got vaccinated i started um, going to someone to do my hair for me and it is a cost but to me it's worth it because i told you like it would take me three hours to, or three days to do it and it literally takes her less than two hours and she washes it she retightens the roots and she does like a style it's a simple style but she does all that in like less than two hours so she has a client for life as far as I'm concerned because that is worth every penny. Uh, so it's my hair under beauty. Um, I also get my nails done. You see that? See it? Ah, They look nice. Thank you. Just got it done. Um, uh, let's see. And also I do sugaring which is a form of waxing. So I've started doing that too. So that's my beauty regimen and that's at 8%. Next is investing that, hmm, it's at 2%. I think that usually says one. I don't know why it says two today. Huh. According to this, that's 2% uh, of um, my take home pay is going towards investing. Next is tithing, that's at 10%. Um, and I made a whole video about that, about why I choose to tithe while having debt and while having other financial goals. Um, so you can go check that out, but that's at 10%. Next is my sinking funds. I also have a video about that. So make sure you look at that if you haven't already. That's at 6%. My buffer is at 4%. A buffer is like, for me, it's like a built-in possible emergency fund into my uh, monthly budget I do that it's a buffer so it's like for anything that I didn't account for so anything that could happen in the month one month I had to use it because my car got towed if you remember that that was a very upsetting time in life um, but yeah you never know what could happen so I like to carve out just a little room um, in case I need that money and if I don't need to use that money then it can go towards other things next at two percent is treat yourself um that is separate from shopping shopping are 
when I'm going shopping is for things that I know that I need, like just typical life expenses. Um, but treat yourself is a splurge. It's just permission to splurge on myself because who out here are like single independent women? Um, I've found that like if you don't splurge on yourself, like nobody else will. Like, like no one's gonna do that for you. So if you want that for yourself, you will have to do it for yourself. So I've carved out a very small because it's only 2%, um, but still just, just permission to do like a little something for me. And then last but definitely not least at 15%, is money for saving for my house and if you saw my last video you know that i'm very very close to my goal of ten thousand saved i'm very close and i will make it this month as long as everything goes according to plan um that will happen this month that i'll hit ten thousand and who knows if i don't have to use all of my buffer money then i may be over ten thousand so that'll be that'll be pretty cool um, hmm. I'm just, rem I'm remembering something. I have to buy people gifts this month because there's like multiple birthdays in October that I have to buy gifts for and I should do that in September. Hmm. But I didn't plan for it. Man. Okay. Well. Now I know. <laughs> Money's going to have to be taken out of somewhere. It'll probably come out of the buffer because I just remembered that. Yeah, I'm going to have to buy some gifts in Oct for October birthdays unless I do that in October because they are towards the end of the month. But the way shipping is, hmm, maybe I shouldn't wait until October to do it. I don't know. I don't know what I'll, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll buy them this month, maybe not. Well, man, <laughs> I try to plan things out, but I literally like just remembered it. Um, their, well, their birthdays are like in the middle and the end of October. So I should have enough time if I buy the gifts in like the beginning of October. I should have enough time. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, but that's it for today because my battery is about to die. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I pray that September is a good financial month for you as well as for me. And I hope that we all reach our goals. So thank you for watching the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you next time.